following example, we're asked to find the derivative of this function. We should notice a couple things when we're doing this. We have trig functions, so we're going to have user trig rules. This is a product of sine and cosine, product rule. It's also a quotient, so quotient rule. So the derivative has a few parts. So to differentiate then, the quotient rule tells us we take the derivative of the top. So the derivative of the top is going to be 2, and then it's product rule. So product rule says derivative of the first, so derivative of sine is cosine. So that's cosine of x. Keep the second the same. Plus keep the sine. Derivative of cosine, negative sine. So that's negative sine x. And all of that needs to be multiplied by the bottom because this is quotient rule. So let's just quickly look at that again. We're taking the derivative of the top times the bottom. So there's the bottom left the same. The derivative of the top is 2 times the derivative of sine which is cosine. Keep the second the same. Plus keep the first 2 sine derivative of the second negative sine. Minus the derivative of the bottom which is 1, multiplied by the top left the same. So 2 sine x cos x. And all of that needs to be divided by the denominator squared. So divided by x squared. So that's the whole derivative. Now we just need to simplify it a little. That's 2 cosine squared minus 2 sine squared. So 2 cos squared x minus 2 sine squared x minus 2 sine x cosine x all over x squared. Now that's one way to do that question. This question could also be done using trig identities provided you remember or you recognize that the sine of twice an angle is equal to twice the sine and the cosine of the angle. So if we remember that rule that's an identity for double angle well, we can replace this with sine 2x. So, rewriting the function, we could simply do sine of 2x over x. Now, differentiating gives us derivative of the top is cosine of 2x times 2. So, we'll stick the 2 out front times x minus, derivative of the bottom is 1 times the top left the same, sine 2x all over x squared. And we can rewrite that as 2x times cosine of 2x minus sine 2x all over x squared, which is the same answer we have here, again, provided you know two identities this time. This part is the same as this, based on this identity. The other identity you need to know is that cosine of 2x <laughs> is equal to cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x. So that gives us this part, and which actually makes me realize we have a little mistake here. We haven't included our x, so really these need to be multiplied by x to fix that mistake. 